Today is Sunday, the 27th of August, 2023. And I'm here with my beautiful, amazing seed team, whoever shows up, that is. We show up in no need, no want, no expectation, and no attachment. And today we're going to do a special meditation. And I want to start with a dream that I had. A very, very vivid, well, it wasn't really a dream. It was more of a, of a vision. And it was, it's there to assist me. Um, and it was basically, I was, uh, I was actually in hiding. And I was, I was running from, f- into buildings and such. And I had been running to take shelter in a building. And an airplane literally came out of the sky and was heading for me. And I didn't have enough time to get away. And before you before you go into fear, just just bear with me here, okay? So this is a beautiful, beautiful okay. gift for me. Uh, so just feel it deep in your heart. Whatever you feel is perfect. I don't want to tell you how to feel, but I just want you to just really allow it in there. And when I knew that there was a point there of no return, in other words, I wasn't able to run and get away from uh, the, the the implosion, let's call it. And. I held my arms up to God, and I had seen flashes of, of times where I have held up my arms like that just as I was uh, entering the heavenly realms. In other words, when my, my earth death was, was upon me, which of course, you know, if you're here, you've lived many lifetimes and you've had horrific lifetimes, but it's all in the way we we see it with our multi-dimensional lens. So there was a moment of impact where I felt elated and I felt the most peace and so happy, similar to my near-death experience, guys. So the same type of feeling where all the lower energies are moved away and really supported in my eternal makeup or design or blueprint. And I held my arms up, and I, I, in one in one moment, I went to ha- like I went home to God, which was glorious. <clears throat> and another moment, I was in the building, and I was seeing planes like literally fall out of the sky. They look like toy airplanes. And I realized upon awakening that I'm going home with joy and elation and excitement. Now go in your heart and feel that trigger of fear because I don't, I don't, I don't have that, okay? So the, the moment that I realized either heaven is coming here or I will return to the heavenly kingdom is perfect for me. So just feel that for a moment, that perhaps this game of being here in these lives is to get to the point where we die differently without the fear. What about if it was joyous and it was glorious and it was something incredible? That we are going home to God and that that's perfect. Now what I get from it, just so you know, Clear the fear, if it's there, by the way. (laughs) Because most of every action on the earth plane comes from the fear of death. We don't want to die. We don't want to get sick. We don't want to have disease. What if we die? What if that kills us? What if, what if, what if? What if we had none of that? What if we could allow ourselves to be so sovereign and we lift up all those energies so that nothing could now control us in any sort of way. What would that look like? So that's, that's what we're going to hold on to today. We're going to, I'm going to take that. There's a gift in there for me. Uh, Last night I had military helicopters all around my house. It's been all week. And my son finally said, is this what you're talking about? These are like, war zone military copters what are they doing 
and I came I came to the conclusion I don't care. <laughs> I simply don't care what they're doing. It's okay. It's perfect. I let go of all the fear, which is the ego. So this is what we work so hard in practice. Remember, we're doing the inviting, we're doing the practicing, or we're doing the participation, which is what we're doing right now. We chose this morning to get up, come on the call and say yes. How beautiful is that? That brings us into our practice. Our practice carries us through being able to stand in the earth plane, as dense as that is at times, with no fear, no ego, the conduit. So with that, we're going to do a, a kind of a special meditation. This is what I've been getting, piecing together, and you guys probably have the rest of it. So we're going to participate. If you choose to, great. If you don't want to, just mic, just mute your mic. That's fine, too. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a deep breath in, and you're going to go to our river that we've been meditating on. The river is shallow, okay? It goes up just a little bit above the ankles. And it's beautiful weather. Sun, flowers, wildlife, just glorious and beautiful, serene, peaceful. And I want you to imagine yourself standing in this river. I want you to hold your palms up and I want you to call upon God to come in through the top of the head and into the mind today. Feel the God frequency, the God consciousness enter your mind. Taking a deep breath, allowing it to circulate all through the brain, all through your head, all through your mind. Now you're going to invite in Christ consciousness through the heart. If your soul chooses, you can picture Jesus, the Ascended Master, Jeshua Benjamin Joseph, standing beside you to your right. You could even hold his hand. To the left, I want you to call upon Mary Magdalene, the magenta light, who's going to represent all of the divine feminine, the balanced state of divine feminine. Take a deep breath and feel that deep in the soul. Now through the feet and up into the heart, you're going to invite the Holy Spirit. Taking a deep breath now, feel the relaxation of the body, mind, and spirit. We're standing in the river now, the group of us. We're with Jesus and Mary Magdalene. We're peaceful and we're balanced. On the left river bank are a lot of people. Okay, they're dressed in suits and they're carrying briefcases. On the right side, are all the tribes, all the little gypsy tribes and you know movements, groups, a lot of a lot of religion, a lot of beautiful people who go to church and practice there. A lot of artists. Okay, we've got the singers, the dreamers, the writers, the creators, producers, directors, conductors, all of that. It's over there on the right all the children, all the people. And then I want you to look ahead and I want you to picture a ball of energy. And it just is. We don't want to judge or critique it. We just want to be aware of it. I'm going to name the ball of energy. It's called the QFS and Gesera Nasera. The intentions of this ball of energy are beautiful. The intentions of the souls who created this for we the people did it to assist genuinely. But I want you to look at it for a moment because it's in the ball Philip and I call this chasing the tail, this energy. 
it's elusive and you can't really hold it. Now imagine for a moment if we could transmute this ball of energy and allow it to look like dancing in the river from the people on the left bank and the people on the right bank. What if, Bev, I got this right in my heart, your copper powder walk, your copper pot, sorry. What if the people came into the river and joined us and we all could transmute this ball? The way that we do it is not by man creating the prosperity for all and not some, but for God to create it. What if it was that simple? So I want you to take a deep breath for a moment and I'm gonna place in your hand a copper key. Tell me when you feel it. You can use your telepathy if you want. So see if you can hold it. It's a heavy key, like an old antique key, and it's made of copper. And what we're realizing at this moment, that we've been given a gift, all of us have assisted, and we did that by bringing God through us to create something that wasn't poisoned, that wasn't tarnished, that wasn't competitive, and that wasn't elusive. It's something that is transparent and firm with God frequency. What if it was so easy that we just share and gift and assist the humanitarian initiatives, allowing the humanitarian souls to find the best products that heal and uplift us. And as this grows, once we have 441 people, it self-perpetuates until we're all sharing and caring and loving. Now, the other day I got the message, Justin helped me, that perhaps the keys are for the souls that are still holding the greed. Because it's going to be their seed that gets planted for as soon as they feel and touch the frequencies without the ego, without those lower energies, then their journey begins. <clears throat> their journey begins of the unraveling of the chasing the tail and the transmuting of the ball. So as we take our key with Jesus and Mary Magdalene, we're gonna walk through the ball of energy and on the other side of it, I want you to dance and feel the divine beat of the divine drum. We're going to transmute the ball now, guys. So when you're ready, and if you're able to, I want you to take your key and I want you to walk through the ball of energy that was created by man with good intention. And once we're on the other side, we're going to begin to just coax the people, just invite them, just tell them, come on, come dance, come play in the water. And you're going to pass out the copper keys. And we're going to allow that ball of energy to dissipate and become the dance of all the people, of all of God's children, all together in the river. The people on the left bank and the people on the right bank joining hearts, lifting up the heaviness, lifting up the greed, lifting up the perceived power, 
Because in the golden age, the only power is God. <laughs> and that power shines through us. God is present as we move our ego. As we allow that energy through to cover everything and everyone. Just keep walking down that river and keep handing out the keys. Together, we're going to be the conduit. Now we're going to invite all of the angels, of God's angels, and all of the guardians, all the assisters, to come and join us in our dance that we created when we were able to remove that deep fear of death and that deep egoic shield that has placed us on purpose, by design, to enslave us. We're free when we choose to be free, guys. So we're going to take a deep breath now. And now I want to just hold the gratitude for the whole team coming together with the puzzle pieces, with the text messages. I got this. I don't know what it means. I drew this. I got this in meditation. This is the beauty of team play. Team play is the essence and the energy of the golden age. It doesn't have an ego. It's playful instead. We become God's children. And then I want you to just hold some intention with all this energy that we've invited today and the dance that we're all doing in unity. We're going to put a little bit of light around the initiatives. The initiatives are not charities. That's old paradigm. The initiatives are something that we feel with every fiber of our being. Where goodness and God's frequency can be delivered where it's needed the most. We're going to film them. We're going to playfully and joyfully show these, not in victimhood, in empowerment. We're going to empower the souls that don't even know what humanitarianism looks like or means or feels like. All they got to do is hold that key then they're participating. They don't even know it. That's their invitation. Someday they're going to get to a practice. The practice is a unifying force field of light that holds God. This is the golden age and the new paradigm. So allow all of the, of the old energies or anything that you're still holding on to, and especially any of that egoic shield or ego, ego layers, just to dissipate into the river and allow it to be carried by the water, carried from our body, mind, and spirit, allowing us to not fear death. If you're having a hard time, go listen to the NDEs. They're beautiful. The people who are talking, you don't have to figure out which one is right and which one is wrong. There's truth in every bit of it. It's multidimensional. It's whatever you wish to see, whatever you choose to see, however your journey looks to connect you deeply to God. That's it. It's so simple. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep this simple, because this right here, what we're doing is we're transmuting that energy that has placed us in this position right now of pause, of weight, the building up of the power of the money. This is old paradigm. We don't need that. We don't want that. 
Take a deep breath, release that energy, and never look back. We're here to unify together as one. Once we transmute that energy, all will be delivered when it has God's frequency in it, when the fight is gone, when the fear is gone. What we're doing today when we join hearts and say yes and we move our ego aside is we're being this huge portal of light right now, guys, right now, in the here and now. And we're inviting so deeply in our hearts with the love that we have for one another and the love that we have for every single human soul. I believe that we can, we will, and we do. And here we say thank you, thank you, thank you. The golden age is in divine order. The golden age is in divine order. The golden age is in the divine order. I love you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, thank you for assisting.